Throughout 2015, various events have been taking place to mark Gurkha 200. Special parades, challenges and charity events, all under the same banner to celebrate two centuries of Gurkha service to our monarch. And they've all been leading up to this, the culmination of all the celebrations, the Gurkha 200 open-air pageant in London. For the past 200 years, the Gurkhas have served alongside British forces in every major conflict. And throughout that time, they've earned themselves the reputation of being both courageous and loyal. The open air pageant taking place here today at the Royal Hospital in Chelsea is to mark 200 years of service to the Crown. And to acknowledge that service, there's a royal audience here today to watch the pageant, including Prince Harry, who said after his tour of Afghanistan, there's no safer place to be than at the side of a Gurkha. More than 1,500 guests join Her Majesty the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Harry, Prince Charles and the Sultan of Brunei. They were treated to a varied and exciting spectacle, with some very recognisable names synonymous with the Gurkhas guiding them through the show. It's a huge pageant celebrating the 200 years that the Gurkhas have been serving the British Crown, which is in itself something so remarkable that you have to scratch yourself and think all over again. And we've got everything from um, obviously the bands, the full pipes and drums and all that. We've got solo singing, a perfect new song, I Am A Gurkha, which has been specially composed for the occasion. We've got um, the skirmishes brought back to life with live ammunition. Well, I think it's fake, I hope it's fake. But, you know, smoke and things and crawlings and slayings and stuff like that. We've got the most gorgeous Gurkha dancing. The girls, we've got the Gurkha ladies who look like hummingbirds, they're so beautiful. The most beautiful, graceful dancing. And the boys, of course, all the Gurkhas, when they're not dressed as Gurkhas, are just fabulous dancers and look extraordinarily cool. So we've got that going on. We've got stuff, Dan Snow, obviously, who's doing the presenting, I'm doing it. And Tol Sub, who's also doing it. So the three of us are saying sort of bits. It's great. Do you know, the extraordinary thing is, is that most families, if you scratch them, have got somebody who served in the Great War or sometime, has got some servicemen in their family, whether it's airmen or, or um, sailors as well, all of them know about the Gurkhas and all of them said that whenever the Gurkhas appeared, their spirits lifted and they were as proud as punch and everybody felt safer and happier and braver. Um, so to, to have the public, who all knew these stories, in 2009, when we were fighting for justice for the Gurkhas, to have the public roaring its approval from behind us was the greatest thing in the world. It made us feel this is something that is absolutely right. The country knows it's right. And of course, the government then knew it was right. And so that happened. Well, I've been invited to this wonderful event to sort of help um, MC it, to help compare it. I'm basically Joanna Lumley's understudy, which I can live with because she's a bit of a legend, so that's cool. Uh, and I'm just talking through narrating some of the kind of action scenes. So I say things like, then he put a phosphorus grenade through the slip tray. You know, it's like quite hardcore stuff and people getting killed and blown up, but that's what the Gurkhas do best, so that's okay. It's a great honour to be involved in the story of the Gurkhas because there's a, they're a unit in, I don't think, like no other in the world. I mean, they're a unit of people from a distant land with whom we have apparently not much in common, and yet they've served the British government, the British Crown faithfully 200 years like no other. It's, it's, it's extraordinary, really. So we, it's, it's wonderful to be here and take the time to kind of mark that service and that friendship that exists between us. Two centuries of service brings with it a lot of history. As the sun set on the Royal Hospital Chelsea, this history came to life. Hundreds of serving members of the Brigade of Gurkhas and their families were part of a performance telling the story of their 200-year commitment to the Crown. Tonight, we are going to reenact one of the examples of Gurkha courage and bravery, that of the rifleman, later Havildar Pan Bhakta Guru who won his Victoria Cross in Burma. Joanna Lumley and Dan Snow narrated the scenes as battle reenactments dramatically unfolded, from the Indian mutiny of 1857 to 58 to the two world wars, where the brigade suffered over 40,000 casualties. Their history is displayed here for an audience full to capacity. Throughout this time, the Gurkhas have cemented a reputation for fierce loyalty. I think they're people who 
um, are very loyal to the British Crown. They're obviously unique. They're long-standing, as two centuries uh, sort of describes. And uh, they're respected for their fighting capability and uh, the tremendous service that Nepal has given us over two world wars and lots of other campaigns. And uh, I think their humour and dignity is another reason why they're respected and admired by the British public. And, you know, that's a, a great thing to, uh, to see. As far as I know, and of course I'm retired now, uh, there are no plans to change any of that. And I think, you know, 3% is about the right number. It allows us to cover a number of trades, um, both infantry and across some of the corps. And, uh, you know, their utility has been proven in recent operations. And uh, also people in Nepal at the moment sorting out earthquake relief are doing a great job. And it's obviously appropriate to have Gurkhas doing that. Gurkhas and bravery go hand in hand. A total of 13 Victoria Crosses, the highest award for valour, have been awarded to Gurkha soldiers since the First World War. The only surviving Gurkha Victoria Cross holder, Ram Bahadur Limbu, even made the trip over from Nepal to be involved in this ceremony. The Gurkha way of life is part of a rich culture incorporating their history, music, family, food and dancing, all of which they bring with them to the UK. Something which was represented here at the pageant. Families of serving members of the Brigade of Gurkhas performed traditional dances and the audience were treated to music from the band of the Brigade of Gurkhas. Imagine is of course a celebratory event, but the recent Nepal earthquakes are close to the hearts of everyone here. Many of the Gurkhas still have close friends and family living out in Nepal. So the funds raised here today by the Gurkha Welfare Trust will go to increasing their Nepal medical program and the much needed rebuilding after the earthquakes. May I ask you to rise and mark these stars with a minute silence. It is a way of paying our, our, our gratitude to the Nepali people, actually, and uh, just, just to make them feel that, you know, you know, when we leave Nepal, we don't, we not think about only ourselves, we think about our country and the people of Nepal. And, and the, the British public have opened their hearts, you know, for example, I'll give you uh, one, one example, uh, you know, you know, once the Nepal struck with the first wave of earthquake, then we, uh, you know, I, I personally, you know, uh, open uh, an online um, uh, donation, and the support from British public has been overwhelming. I speak on behalf of the brigade. Um, they all have family and friends in Nepal. Uh, fortunately, for many, um, they weren't directly affected. But here we are at a Gurkha Welfare Trust event, um, and the Gurkha Welfare Trust is absolutely on the forefront of initially providing relief and then in the longer term reconstruction so we're looking to raise as much as we possibly can and then to go and help all of those in the uh, hills and the Gurkha communities. Our performers and our Gurkha premier, I am a Gurkha, a song specially arranged and with original lyrics by our director of music, Major Paul Norley. To close the event, there was another performance, a song written especially for the occasion, I Am A Gurkha. Yeah. 